Why go to a convention? Um, so back in the really early days, so anime conventions actually came out of science fiction conventions. Um, so back in the day, in, in America at least, um, yeah, and we're talking 60s and 70s, there was nowhere to get anime. It was either on television and it disappeared forever, or it was, it was in movie theaters and it disappeared forever. So science fiction fans would say, you know, we'll get together and, oh, I watched this thing, oh, I watched this thing, I loved it. And they would eventually find somebody who had like an eight millimeter print of one anime film or one special or so forth. And then they would say, okay, um, you know, you have this one, you have this one, you have this one. When we go to the science fiction convention next year, let's ask them for a room. And we're gonna screen anime there and sort of collect everyone's, everyone's stuff. Um, and so um, that evolved to where they were essentially sectioning off part of a convention just for anime material. And then they would do, so the early dealer's rooms were not dealer's rooms. They were trading between anime things. You know, I have this one thing, you have this one thing, we can swap them, you know, or I'm willing to sell that. Because uh, there were no dealers, like no one was actually buying and selling you know, anime merchandise at scale. Um, so it was just basically a swap meet, uh, which kind of grew and grew over time. So really early on, it was the opportunity for anime fans to actually get anime merchandise and talk with other anime fans. Uh, because there was just no other opportunity to do that. Uh, and then, um, it was also, once anime fandom started to grow, say in the 90s, um, it was your opportunity to actually um, get, to see what was going on with like licensors and distributors and so forth, because they didn't necessarily have news items, they didn't necessarily have any way of distributing information. The only way you found out that they were coming out with a particular show was to go to a con and go to that, that panel, or talk to them at, at, the, at the convention and see what they were doing. Um, so that was definitely a thing. Um, and then it's grown to this crazy thing it is now. Um, and that's kind of one of the weird things I have with conventions these days, is they've kind of outgrown that purpose. They've become just kind of this communal meeting space, really. It's almost more, you know, these are where my friends meet up to talk, you know, and to hang out more than anything else. 